off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Okay, we are up here at beautiful Snoqualmie Pass. It's about five something in the morning. And myself, Henry, and Shane, we're gonna go up there, Snoqualmie Peak. So come along. How are we doing? Tired. <laughs> We've been going for about 40 minutes. No, what? Yeah, 40 minutes, about a third of the way. So we're doing good, we're doing good. Yeah, this is as flat as it gets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, there in the distance, you can see Mount Rainier. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Okay, here we go, coming up over. go I think I don't know what peak that is yeah, yeah baby. that's pretty is cool no <laughs> we're going further up there above there Look. okay we're near the summit here come up here's the top looking north That beautiful mountains. Valley below. So this type of view is why I enjoy hiking. I don't mean to make you dizzy, but I'm gonna spin around here. This is what makes all this beautiful terrain, nature worth getting out into. People fly, go to places to do things like this. So it's awesome. to get up here but the views. It's, that's right, it is suck to get up here but the views, right Henry? Yeah. That's, that's the, uh, the moral of the story here. And I was gonna go out front and sit on the patio, but uh, tree trimmers are out there, <laughs> literally right in front of my house. I'll go out here for a second and start our day. I need Jason to put the hose away when he is done using it. But, I'm gonna take it right now and go and water my plant. Oh, let's turn the. There. That's better. I'm misting instead of a jet. It's a nice little green backdrop. It's almost covered in green, I should say. Just got back from doing a walk. Um, I'm really enjoying the little track at the park I found and I had some inner angst and stress that I needed to go and walk off instead of just laying in bed this morning um, and not anyway I just, just decided to walk off the stress which was perfect battery's dying so I'm just gonna I'd say cool down out here but it's not really that cool out here anymore it's pretty warm but if um, Jason filmed any of his hike that he's on currently you'll have seen that um, if not, hi, welcome to our day. <laughs> um, he went with his friend Shane, and we are actually going to Shane's house tomorrow for the 4th of July. Um, so that should be pretty fun. We'll find out if he had, he did have a good hike. Um, but we had some stressful things kind of happen while he was trying to come down from the hike. And anyway, so it just kind of got stressful this morning. So it was just good for me to like get out and go for a walk and um, get, the calories burned instead of the stress built up. <laughs> so I am going to go in and make my breakfast 
and wait for him to get home and then we'll start our day with the kids. I think they're all still in bed. <laughs> it's like 11.30, I think. Yep, 11.40. I didn't realize it, but I made a little patriotic breakfast. I've got some berries and some cottage cheese and some muffins that Ashley made last night. And then over on the stove, I have warming up some little smashed potatoes that I'll eat as soon as I'm done with this. I'm not gonna lie, today I'm ha kinda having a blah kind of a day. Um, you had fun on your hike? Oh yeah, I'll show you the food. Yeah, good. I didn't know if you'd film or not. Oh, I did. Why did it take okay. so long? Um, it's okay. It's okay. So we're trying to decide uh, what to do today. Uh, this one wants to go to the mall. And my hair's okay. It's not exactly what I... Go get a brush for that. There's That's, no brush. Uh, the kids sure might... Have a brush so Chelsea house. and Abby are packing to go to girls camp. So <laughs> things are disappearing out of bathrooms. And that's the kind of day I'm having. Patrick just died. Ugh. If I could just like climb into some sweatpants with air AC blowing on me and a snack and watch TV all day, I would do that. But I have a 10 year old who's like, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? I'm kind of sick of entertaining. And summer just started. But she wants to go to the mall. So if I can appease her by a trip to the mall and a Annie's, Annie's pretzel, that's probably what she's gonna want then it's a pretty cheap date. <laughs> That's how I view it. Um, but you, he had a good hike. It did just take a little bit longer because our friend's son came and it's harder for both of them to go downhill. They're very tall and their knees have a hard time on rocky. It was a, it was a tough hike. It was a tough hike, yeah. So, let's go to the mall. I'm on the phone with Abby upstairs. Um, but Ashley's package just arrived. 8,000 more beads, right Ashley? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been waiting. Hey Abby, I'll talk to you later. Sure, bye. Well, just open the door. He's That's right there. So Is that awkward? Yeah, just stalking them. All right, well, he's right there. I have a package too. She's not, that's not a big huge box just with beads in it. Yeah. I have a surprise that I haven't told everyone about That's has something to do with the package that's arriving right now. They don't know about it. She's there. Know about what? You'll see. What did you get? Show it. Stop moving. You're not doing it here at the table. You're not. I'm not doing it here, but like I'm gonna open it. Okay. So she got like a ton of wooden beads. Is that what they're called? Clay. Clay beads. Sorry. And I just realized why Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and all the other stores do not have any of these in stock. Do you know why? Because Taylor Swift is coming in three weeks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what does that have to do with because, because everyone's making bracelets to trade at the concert. Yeah, Come on, Dad. Don't you know the Taylor Swift Pete, information? Uh, Taylor Swift, like, she hands out uh, bracelets, and then some people, like, make bracelets. Yeah, they trade. And yeah. They, they get handfuls of them, so clay beads are what they do. Yeah. Come on. That's why. I get with it, dude. <laughs> um, I got boring things like folders for my desk and things that you can't see inside this box. Some of this is secret stuff. But I don't want you or Well, you know what that stuff is. No, stop. I want to look at them. But these beads, this is all she does is make bracelets. They're long. And she got like rings of or strings of all the different colors. I mean, there is something to be said about color coordinated beads. It's quite nice. This is quite satisfying. And we're not even going to the Taylor concert. <laughs> she just loves making oh, these wow. bracelets. I literally was like, someone's gonna come along and put one of them in the wrong place, and that would be Chelsea. <laughs> Bye, don't go get it, Rush. <laughs> Wanna be the person that you call up when you're down? Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets? Can I be the one who wakes you up? So Chelsea might want to get her ears pierced. Maybe. Maybe? We're kind of thinking about it. She's showing me an earring that she's found it's online. It's not an earring, it's like a ring. Oh, it's a ring? And then there's dad. And then there's dad. Dad's over there. Just waiting, being a good dad. 
Okay, no trip to the mall is complete without a trip to Annie's for a pretzel. Can you not inhale this? Ashley, Ashley, <laughs> don't inhale this. Mom, don't. She had this like gone before I even got on the highway last time I got her one. Thank you. You know, I'm editing um, today's video and I didn't know how to like go on with our day because I'm just editing and we just had uh, missionaries from our church stop by and give us a short little lesson, a little thought. Um, and the kids are kind of doing their thing. Let me just show you really quick. Ashley's being really cute. She is doing her beading work right here. <laughs> she has it all out. She's got it all organized. I can show you how she's organized it. It's kind of cute. Um, Abby's upstairs, um, Chelsea's upstairs, and they're just getting ready for camp and packing all their stuff. Jason's trying to find them some uh, bug spray, I think. I'm worried that I threw it away and I was just at Target getting like their travel uh, toothpaste and shampoo and conditioner. Because somehow with all the travels that we've done, I don't have little teeny tiny containers because we usually take big um, containers of shampoo. Anyway, I was trying to think to myself like, oh, what else could we like, you know, film of our day throughout the rest of the evening. But I'm, I think, <laughs> It's really fun when Jason takes the camera and he films like his side of the day, especially when he goes hiking and today he went with friends. And <laughs> um, like Jason said, the moral of the story is that sometimes it sucks to get here, but the views. And I think that was just a, such a sweet little <laughs> message for our friend, little Henry. He's almost exactly Chelsea's age. They grew up together. Um, but you know, that's just like, you know, it's a great analogy is sometimes life just sucks to get there. But then the view, the look back to like, oh my goodness, like what did we just do? And I have been thinking about this concept a lot lately. We have a lot of things going on in our life. Some of it hard, some of it good. Surgeries for myself, for Abby, travel. Kaylee's traveling right now. We have upcoming travel that's expensive and fun and exciting. Um, we have other things in the works that are fun and exciting, but like our life as a family for the past 22 years since Jason and I got married and 26 years since Jason and I met, um, has been sometimes, uh, oh, just sucked to get here, but the views, um, I'm just going to end with that because it's like, I have been thinking about this for the past couple months, um, as so many things have worked out for Jason and I and our kids and our girls. Um, and again, like some of it's been hard and it will continue to be hard. Um, but we've gotten here, like we've gotten to this point and we're at the point in our life where we're really like able to look at the view and notice for what it is and notice the blessings and the miracles. And that's what our lesson today was from our missionaries that stopped by is they said take the next 12 days to write down the miracles you see or the miracles that you remember or the blessings that you see or the gr things that you're grateful for so that you can be conscious of it um, in your daily life. And that's really like been on my mind lately is we, it's been a long um, road for Jason and I since we got married and moving up here on our own. Like we didn't have my family, like I moved away from my family um, for the first time ever. Um, and you know, that was hard and we've just kind of lived our life here and it has not been easy. Owning our business is not easy. Um, it, we didn't make money with our business for a very long time, a very long time. And okay, pause. That's very aesthetic. Yes. I like that. Okay. Good job, kiddo. Um, and I know some might see us at this stage in our life, like, oh my goodness sakes, I can't believe you get to, you know, go on these trips or these excursions or new, new Tesla, you know, for Jason last year. And what maybe you haven't seen and we haven't filmed because we've only been doing this for a couple years is the years and years and decades of hard work with zero to no pay zero to no payoff. We had blessings. We were grateful to have roofs over our heads, whether it was apartments or townhouses or, 
renovation homes, investment homes, um, back to apartments, like you name it, we've done it. And we've had hardships, we've had crappy cars, we've had good cars, like you name it, we've, we've done it. Um, but right now, we're enjoying the view. Right now, we're enjoying the blessings. Right now, we're trying to be grateful and um, let our girls know that we are blessed. And we just want to be able to like share that with you to maybe take a look at your life. And, and yes, the struggle to get up is hard and it sucks, as Henry said, but the view is perfect. The view is worth it. If you can just see the view, the view is right in front of you sometimes, even amidst the trial or the struggle or the hardship or the whatever. The view is there, you can find the blessings. And um, I just think that's really neat. So that's what I'm gonna leave with you um, tonight is that little message to find the blessings, find the view in your life that you can be grateful for of where you're at right now. I think we always think of what we could be doing, what we want to attain, what do we want in five years? And and that's great and that's, and that's very motivating. But if we don't enjoy the thing we have right now, we aren't um, paying homage to what we asked for five years ago. Five years ago, we didn't specifically ask for the things that we currently have right now in our life, but we also asked for security and safety and health and well-being, and we got those things. So if we aren't grateful for the things that we currently have, there's no point in being hopeful and thoughtful for the things that we want in the future if you can't be grateful for them in the future. You don't learn how to do that. So it doesn't sound, I don't know, it just was hearing Henry say that today was like, yes, it sucks, but enjoy the view. So I leave it that with you and I will see you guys on the 4th of July. We're very excited. <laughs> I think today is just kind of a lull day because we're gearing up to enjoy a fun 4th of July. So say good night. To yes, you're tired, <laughs> which is another reason why I was like, let's just call it a night. So we'll see you guys next time.